Two Adelaide researchers claim they've discovered the seventh sense through their study of backward masking, the practice of listening to music and speech played in reverse. David Oates and Greg Albrecht say they have had uh, thousands of examples of unintentional backward messages found on tapes of speeches by politicians, rock music, even plain everyday conversations. It started with the Beatles. The Fab Four had teenagers around the world playing songs backwards to hear bizarre references to drugs, Satan, even the rumoured death of Paul McCartney. Now two Adelaide men have taken the study of backward masking further in what they say is a world first in research into the subject. Teacher Greg Albrecht and his associate David Oates have spent thousands of hours listening to all kinds of music, lyrics, conversations, speeches and interviews backwards and forwards. They've come up with the startling conclusion that subconscious thoughts unintentionally appear in speech. What about people watching the segment tonight? What would you say if people looked at you and said, well, these guys are crackpots? <laughs> well, the proof of the pudding is in the listing. We've got the examples. Our credibility rests on the examples, and uh, we've had people who uh, have come into our home that listen to the examples in a, in a skeptical manner and uh, they've left convinced. Using modest equipment, they say they've captured the innermost thoughts of rock stars, public figures, even unsuspecting friends and relatives. According to the pair, everybody's doing it, as if it's a seventh sense. Paul McCartney, for instance, is supposed to be making references to marijuana and the law in his hit single, Ban on the Run. And there's even a hidden comment in Neil Armstrong's famous first words on the moon. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. According to the pair, Armstrong is also saying subconsciously, man will spacewalk. They have published their fascinating and provocative findings in a book out this week. They believe the results can be used to recognise and correct speech problems or psychological disorders. Still not convinced they're onto something? Neither were we until... OK, well, I must admit, when I came in here, I was a bit sceptical about your work, uh -huh. but we decided that we'll tape our conversation. <laughs> Okay, well tell me what you found. Well, I must admit I'm a little bit embarrassed about this. Uh, <laughs> the one that says backwards is uh, you love yourself, which is, I must admit, is what I was thinking when, <laughs> when you were here.